Welcome to another Katia V5 video. Did you accidentally remove some of the features from your UI and you were struggling to find some of the tools? Is the user interface of your Katia install a total mess? You may consider to reset your software to default. Is the visual representation of your 3D models low detailed? Are the circles transformed into polygonal shapes? Go up to Tools, afterwards to Options and search for the Reset Parameters Values to Default Ones button located in the bottom left of the Option menu. Select Reset for All Tab Pages. Now let's take a look at the following settings that I recommend to be changed from the default ones. The most important is the 3D Accuracy. Set that to 0 0.02 to obtain better visual representation of your models within the viewport. Afterwards, if you go back to General Options, we will see that Katia must be restarted to take the modifications into account. This is not for the visual precision which can be changed without restarting the software. Now after restarting the software, depending on your license, the software may go to either P2 or P3 by default. In my case, it went a more modern UI, P3, but I prefer the style of the older P2 UI. Therefore, within option, have it changed back to P2 and afterwards restart the software one more time. Now we still need to address the messy user interface as this won't be resetted using the previous reset parameters to default command. Therefore, go within the desired workbench. I have chosen part design and afterwards went within the Sketcher workbench. Go up to Tools and select Customize. Navigate to the Toolbars tab and click on Restore Position having the standard toolbar selected. You can also choose Restore All Contents, but as we'll see this will not change all the workbenches. We have the Sketcher workbench restored within the background. We can start rearranging the features and tool position on the UI. I prefer to position them on the top horizontal location and also enable graphic properties by right-clicking on an empty area on the ribbon and selecting it. We can now leave the Sketcher workbench and start arranging the Part Design workbench. Now you can proceed to restore other workbenches using the same steps. After restoring the position, all the features and tools will be docked on the ribbon on the right side of the screen. I prefer to drag toolbars from the bottom and position them on the horizontal ribbon. Feel free to configure this as best fits your needs, as within Katia you mostly are going to click stuffs, rather than use hotkeys as the software is not very user-friendly for hotkey users. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you want to learn more Katia V5 tips and tricks, I recommend that you check my playlist, which you can find in the description of this video. I constantly update this list, so whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, you'll find something useful and possibly new here. Also, feel free to leave me some comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.